with 10 consecutive wins. Uh, he, Thunder Gulch is going to have his work cut out for him today. All right, horses on the track for the Gold Cup. Golden Larch, a real long shot. There is uh, unaccounted for who won the Whitney handicap at Saratoga. Gets Lasix for the first time, which is now legal in New York, by the way. Three horse, Dernier Emperor, based in France, trained by the great Andre Fobb. Ran in the Breeders' Cup Classic, you may remember last year, but hit the inside rail and lost all chance. He's one for four this year. Thunder Gulch is number four, gritty, competitive, always right there. Any other season, he'd be a shoe-in for horse of the year after taking the Florida Derby, the Kentucky Derby, the Belmont Stakes, the Swaps, and the Travers. Lucas thought that he needed another tightener after a dull race in Kentucky last time out. Star Standard, another three-year-old, getting five pounds in the weight. Been chasing Thunder Gulch all year. He's 0 for 4 against him, and Cigar beat him 2 in the Woodward. This horse though, could set the pace today. And the sixth horse is Cigar. Is he one of racing's all-time greats? He's versatile in running style, able to win at different distances, different tracks. Bailey and Mata had a beautiful run with him, 10 straight, and uh, get all your Cigar sayings ready. The headline writer's delight. He's the favorite today. And completing the field, number seven is Jed Forrest. Has raced exclusively in Panama. Winning four of five this year, he would be an absolute shocking winner at 41 to 1 here in the Gold Cup. Well, Cigar and Thunder Gulch, it seems to come down to those well, who two. Knows these two great horses better than their jockeys. California based Gary Stevens rides Thunder Gulch, guiding him to victory in two thirds of the Triple Crown. Jerry Bailey, King of New York, has been astride Cigar during a 10 race winning streak, inhaling the competition in a quest for greatness. I think Cigar was destined to be a great horse from the day he was born. Uh, unfortunately, horses can't talk, and he couldn't tell anybody that he wanted to run on the dirt and not the grass. Uh, only through his abilities and his races has he been able to tell people, give me the dirt, give me the dirt. He is a fighter. He's willing to take on uh, all, all adversaries, uh, any competition that wants to come at him. Uh, he doesn't back down. He loves a battle, and, and that's what Thunder Gulch is all about. Thunder Gulch is a very, very gritty campaigner. Uh, he's, he fights hard in every one of his races, but he doesn't scare me. Uh, I respect him. I have a healthy respect for him, for the horses he's beaten and the amount of times that he's won. But Cigar is an awful tough customer, and, and uh, he makes pretty short work of most of the horses he's been against. Jerry has every right to, to be very confident, and um, I guess I'm pretty much in the, the same boat as, as Jerry is. Uh, I'm not nervous right now by any means. Uh, I have nothing but confidence in, in Thunder Gold. Well, I hate to jinx myself in, in any fashion because, the, because of Thunder Gold's record. He's, he's done very well, but deep in my gut, I don't think he's in the same category as Cigar. And there is a look at Cigar, the two to five favorite over his three-year-old challenger, Thunder Gulch, at five to two. Bill Mott with Alan Paulson, the owner of Cigar, watching his star warm up. Alan Paulson has owned so many good racehorses in recent years, but this one a real standout. And Wayne Lucas with Pilly Reed, five to two, second choice. Thunder Gulch trying to upset Cigar. Cigar Cup. Five to two on Thunder Gulch. He's second choice in the betting. The favorite continues to be Cigar. He's won ten in a row. He is at two to five. Let's go upstairs. Tom Durkin with a call of the Jockey Club Gold Cup. In the gate, ready for the start. And they're off. And Star Standard bounding immediately to the lead. Mike Smith wants him in front, and he's there. Opening up quickly by two and a half lengths. Thunder Gulch and Cigar are second and third. Golden Larch is fourth on the inside. Unaccounted for is fifth. Five lengths behind the early front runner. It's a break of another five to the French contestant, Dernier Emperor, and far, far behind is Jed Forrest. Into the back stretch after an opening quarter of 24 and one fifth seconds. Star Standard has established a clear lead, but Thunder Gulch has his measure and Cigar is right there in the clear and on the outside. Golden Larch keyed up on the rail at close to the pace fourth. Pat Day settles unaccounted for into a rhythmic beat, four and a half lengths from the lead, and a big break back to Dernier Emperor. Jed Four is far behind. The opening half mile in a comfortable 48 seconds flat. Star Standard Mike Smith nudging him along to keep him one length clear of Thunder Gulch and Cigar, who have been right together right from the beginning. And the field moving into the far turn. 
Smith wanting more from Star Standard, holding the lead. Cigar now moving into second. Stevens wanting more from Thunder Gulch, who's on the inside. Here comes Unaccounted for putting in his bid. Midway around the far turn, Star Standard in front and still strong. Cigar tracking him intently. Unaccounted for his third and a strong third. And Thunder Gulch has weakened. He's back and forth. Star Standard turning for home, coming wide. Here comes Cigar uncorking his rally. Unaccounted for third. And Thunder Gulch will be defeated today. Cigar explodes. Cigar opening up in mid stretch. Cigar there by the length. Unaccounted for will make him work for it today. It's Cigar past the 16th hole. Them again. That's 11 in a row. Keep in mind, Secretariat only won 10 straight. Cigar, 11 in a row. Convincing. Did you see Jerry Bailey look behind? Is anybody coming? This is a sensational horse. Cigar winning his 11th straight, 201 and 1 in the mile and a quarter Jockey Club Gold Cup. Watch it again through the stretch. The other three-year-old star standard, the early pace setter, and he's hanging tough as they come to the top of the lane. But Jerry Bailey and Cigar have dead aim on him. Watch this confident ride. He's seen Thunder Gulch fade, and now he quickly spurts to the lead. There's the look. Anybody coming? Unaccounted for, starting to gain a little. So he pulls out the whip, a couple of whacks right-handed. Now the hand ride to the left hand with a whip to let him see it. And he hand rides to the finish for 11 in a row. Paulson, his owner, Bill Mott, the trainer. They know he's got it now. Cigar, once again, is the best. Is he among racing's greats? Only the Breeders' Cup Classic remains to separating from greatness. Let me guess. In the gloaming at Belmont Park, where Cigar has just notched his 11th consecutive victory. There was 400,000 bet on him to show and a minus pool in the show pool here. That means the track has to make up the difference between the shortfall to pay five cents on the dollar. Cigar 270, 230, 210, unaccounted for and star standard with the exact of paying $10.80. Let's go to Mike Battaglia. Thanks, Tom, with Gary Stevens. Gary, you already won two today with Serena Song and Golden Attraction. Uh, the source Thunder Gulch, he was laying perfect. He just didn't seem to fart at it. He handled the track. Well, he seemed to handle the track fine today. He came back very, very tired after the race. It's a tiring racetrack today, a very trying racetrack. And uh, we're very disappointed in the, the, the way that he ran. But you've got to take your hat off to Cigar. He's a champion. We came onto his racetrack. Uh, he did what he's been doing all year long. We were no match for him. I guess we'll try him again at the end of the month in the Breeders' Cup. Hopefully we got a little uh, fitness off of this race and make a little more of a contest next time. You think he did move forward a little bit off of this race yeah. today? He, he's got to move forward off of today's race. Uh, believe me, when he came back, he was very, very tired. Uh, he didn't put in his normal fight that he usually does. I was beaten uh, turning into the far turn. I knew that I didn't have enough force underneath me to get the job done today. And when I pushed the button, uh, he didn't give me any response at all. And uh, he's a very intelligent colt, and he more or less just took care of himself. And uh, I guess he is saying, just wait for another day, Jock, and we'll see what happens. Well, we'll look for you again in the Breeders' Cup, Gary. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Tom. All right, Mike, here's the official order of finish. Cigar, the winner, unaccounted for second. Star Standard held on for third. Then Dernay Emperor, Thunder Gulch finishing fifth. Jed Forrest sixth. And Golden Larch seventh and last. And John Beach, uh, if you're a Wayne Lucas, the trainer of Thunder Gulch, do you come back in the Classic? Oh, I think you have to. Uh, certainly uh, to get some revenge. Also to reestablish your, your horse that you're very proud of. Here's a horse that's run some super races, the Derby, the Belmont, the Travers. He certainly deserves another shot at these uh, big boys. We'll be so back with uh, Jerry Bailey. And the first time Jerry Bailey has won the Jockey Club Gold Cup. Jerry, congratulations. Were you surprised how you were able to blow Thunder Gulch off the track today? Not particularly. He's been doing, Cigar's been doing that to horses all year long, and, and Thunder Gulch didn't seem to be any different than, than the rest of them. He didn't handle the track particularly well, but he won in spite of it. 
thought it was a good race for him. So you put Thunder Gulch away, and now you're back in three weeks for the BC Classic. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> Winning rider, Jerry Bailey. Tom? All right, Bob, there's nothing better at the end of the day than a fine cigar. Hope you'll join us three weeks from today from Belmont Park for Breeders' Cup Day at sale. So seven races, $10 million on the line then. For now, this is Tom Hammond for Tom Durkin, John Beach, Bob Newmeyer, Mike Battaglia, and Greg McCarran, and Marianne Grabovoy saying so long from Belmont Park in New York.